Hello everyone, it's Courtney here from Creative Courtney, and today we're going to be making the Adult Pepper Dragon from Dragon Veil. So, uh, let's get started! Okay, so, um, we're going to be starting off with the leg, and I know I haven't done this tutorial for so long because it was supposed to be the adult of this dragon that I made a while ago, and the adult was not in the update, but the baby was. So let's then make the adult, which, which would be in next year's update. I finally got these big containers of blue bands, so I finally have enough orange to make this dragon. Because I didn't have orange for like a long time. And now I have a bunch of orange. I have three of these packs. Three big containers I can use. So let's get started on doing the leg. And you're going to want to go back and make three of these. They're all going to be the same. I already made my other three. So you're going to make this one, and you're going to have four legs in total. They're kind of small, but it's okay. You're going to want to go back and make three more. So, let's just go around this leg. Okay. I'm going to take orange, and we're going to go to the so two middle columns. Then we're going to go out like that. From there, you go down... Um, two times down the two m m middle columns with red. Then on the outside, where you made the orange go out, you're going to also go down one time on those ends and then curve in, if you know what I mean. So go down once on each side with red, like that. Then you're going to take two and curve in, like that, and like that. Now we have all of this, okay, then the double loop bands are a little bit tricky because we want the feet to be separated here. See the reds, they're kind of separated at the end, so with the double loops, we just want them to go on the sides of the red. Like, we want a double loop to go there, we want a double loop to go there. I'll show you after I place them there like that, okay. Then, from this one, we're going to take a double loop and place it there. So we're going to put an orange here, and then everything above that is just double loops orange. So, do that. We also have to place these little leafy things at the back. And see how you have to make four of them? I'm going to show you how to make one, and then you can just make the other four. Right now, and just pause the video after I show you how to make the one. So, no matter what green I used, this green, I don't know. As long as it's a light green, it will be fine. So, I'm going to take the green from the pack of bands again. Now that we have our green, we're going to go down two times with two bands. You can see what I'm doing. So, one, two. See, I went down two times with two bands right there. Went down two times with two bands. Then I'm going to take a green, and I'm going to wrap it around the last pig, creating four loops. Then I'm going to take my hook. So you're just going to loom that up. And you're going to want to make three more of those, so you have four of these green things. You're going to want to hold on to these green things, because we're all going to slip them onto a double looped band here. Okay, so you're going to go back and make um, three more, so you have four of these. And I'll show you where to place them in a minute after you're done. So. See there. I'm going to take off double band right here. See, we're going to take off this one. And we're going to slip all of those green leafy thingies onto that double looped band and replace them on. Okay, and make the green things face up. So I'll show you after I'm done putting them on the double looped band. So I place them on and we're just going to face the green thingies up like that. So it's like a little mini flower. Okay, we're going to take two red, we're going to take one red and we're going to loop it around this pig, creating four loops. <coughs> one, two, three, four. Now we're going to do the same thing to the other one. Then we're going to loop up this whole thing, um, tie the ends with slip knots, and we're going to move on to the wing. And now for the wing, if you want to mirror it, it's fine. If you don't want to mirror it, it's fine too. Just um, you should go back and make another wing as well, because we're going to do the wing in a minute as well. And this is what the wing would look like. I know it's a little bit small, but 
Yes. It is what it is. Okay, so just loom it up um, and make three more of these legs and play have four legs and I'll see you at the wake. So I'll set that right now. Make sure you push the green through to the other end. I will see you at the wing. Time to do our wing. I already made one. You're going to have to go back and make another one. You can either choose to mirror it or to not mirror it. It doesn't really matter. Take out your orange. You're going to take two orange and you're going to and you're going to go down this column all the way down. Okay? So go ahead and do that. Right. You're going to take some red and you're going to go down almost all the way in the next column. So the next column you're going to take two red and you're going to almost go down all the way. You're going to stop at this pig right here. Okay, stop at this pig right here. So go ahead and do that with red. Then you're going to go out once and then from there you're going to want to go down that column and stop at this pig. Go down that column and stop at this pig right there. So do that. And you're going to go out one more time. And then go down that column and stop here. You're going to go down this column. And stop here. Okay? To do that. And you're going to go down into that pig. A pig, so do that. And you're gonna go down mm, twice. Gonna take two red. Gonna go in. You're gonna take two more red. You're gonna go in. Gonna take two more red. And you're gonna take two more red here. You're gonna go in there. Then you're going to take still two red, you're going to go in again, connecting the red to the orange. So your wing should look like this, with orange on this side, and everything else is red so far. Okay? So now what we're going to do, we won't be needing, or we will be needing some more orange. Because there's some more orange for this little claw on the top of the um, top of the wing, so we're gonna be making that claw. This is a pretty easy claw. You're gonna take some orange, take one orange, double loop it on this thing here. I'm just doing it right below, so I did a, a double looped orange right there. Then you're gonna take another orange, double loop it. You're gonna take another orange, double loop it. And you're going to take a red, and you're going to double loop that, and you're going to take your hook, take a red, and wrap a band around your hook, creating four loops, like that, and you're going to take a red, and the double loop it on your hook, pull the four loops on, reclaim the end, you should have this. And you're going to place that on the bottom, right there, loom that up, and then I'll show you what to do next. I'm going to take a red, double loop it, double loop the whole thing, okay? You're going to put a red here, and you're going to put a red here, so double the whole thing in red. And let's say here, you find three pigs, and you double loop your red like that. You don't know what else to do with the other one, you just do a two loop. You d double loop your red on those two bands, so it looks like that. So just do that to this whole loom, and I'll see you in a sec. After you're done double looping everything, you're going to take a red, cap it off, wrap it around this pig, creating four loops at the bottom. Then you're going to take your claw, and you're going to place your claw here. 
in the thing. It's a claw, claw right there on the fifth peg on the orange side. One, two, three, four, five. There's a claw right there on the fifth one. Okay. Then you're free to loom up the whole thing, tie it off, and then after, we're gonna do this to the wing. We're gonna like make it have stripes on it in a way. And it's gonna be on each side. So we're gonna do that after we take off the wing. Okay, so loom it up, tie it off, and I'll see you for, you will still need more orange, so I'll see you for that in a minute. We have our wing with our little claw at the top of it, and we're gonna um, um, take. We're gonna put our hook through the bottom of it. We're gonna take two bands and pull it through the wing like that. So you have this on one side. And you have your hook through orange, and you ha you have your finger holding orange on the other side. We're gonna put your hook through anywhere in the wing and then put the other stuff onto the hook so you have like a little thing on your hook on this side you have orange in your wing and on the other side you have orange in your wing as well and you're going to take two more bands and pull that on to it so just keep doing that until you get to the claw at the top make sure you only have the bands that we're doing and then after you get to the claw you're going to put it through the orange bands the string of orange bands at the top. You're going to take one final um, orange band and pull all that on. The wing, the bands on the wing. You're going to pull all that on. And it's going to tie it off at the top like a slip. Like that. So you have one strand of orange on your wing along with a little slip on at the top. I just like to tie it around the claw. That's what, I, well, that's what I like to do, but I don't know. So now we have a little claw. I think this claw is a little bit larger than the other claw. Who cares? I made it larger. I don't know why. I did three oranges instead of two oranges, so... It doesn't really matter. I'll remind you not to make the same mistake. Anyway, so you're going to do that one more time. This time you're going to do it on the opposite side. So go ahead and do it on the opposite side. Tie it up over here, and I'll see you at the lower jaw. Let's go. Down the two middle columns, a six ten yellow bands. Go down the two sides five times. Like this. Go in and double loop the end. Double loop the whole thing. Go ahead and do that. Take three bands, go down one below that, go out with two bands on each side, and then down the middle as well. All the way down the middle. Double loop. So all double loop bands. We have two bands, double loop, double loop, double loop. And the same thing on the other side, except with two bands all the way down. Like that. Cap off all three of these ends, wrap it, take a band, wrap it around, create four loops, and loom it up, and I'll show you how to place it. The double looped end has to face away. So take the double loop band off of those two, and pull that onto the thing we just did. And then place the side with the double looped band away from you, so it's not facing toward the loop jaw. We have that place like this. The double looped end is facing upward. And the top we're gonna take green, but it's gonna be like lighter green, a lighter green than we did for the feet. See this green is different than this green. So we're gonna take a lighter green. Take two bands, go down, two bands, go down. Again. 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 And go in like that. 
Double loop. Double loop. Cap it off. That. And zoom that up and I'll show you where to place it. I'm going to place the tongue on those two pegs near the top. We're going to take some white and we're going to make some teeth. <coughs> we're going to make six of these. Take a double looped. Another double looped. Another double looped. And another double looped. Cap it off. Like this. I'll double loop, go back and make five more so you have six teeth. Do that right now. I'm going to save two teeth for the upper jaw. So you're going to take four right now and we're going to place them. We'll attach this after we loom it up. Loom up to the, these pegs here, okay? This one, this one, this one, this one. All those, loom up to there. You can loom up the middle pig, so the middle is fine, so do that. So we loomed up the middle, and as we loom up the next ones on the two sides, we're going to have to hatch a tooth, so I'll show you how to do that. As you take the band up, you pull one of your teeth out from your hook, then you place that band back up, the tooth is right there, okay? So you can do that to the other side. Now you have two teeth. Then loom up one more. But don't attach any teeth when you loom this one up. So it look, should look like this. And the next one you're going to loom up is going to be with the tooth again. So you should have this four teeth placed like this. Just loom up the last one, tie off those slip knot, tie those bands off, take this off the loom, and I'll see you the upper jaw. So let's go. Can I attach the tongue, like fix it a little bit? So we should have our lower jaw look like this. So now we're gonna move up to the upper upper jaw. So see you there. Before we get started, we have to make the horns and the little green things on the face. And so we're gonna be doing that. Now we're gonna make the green things. You're gonna go back and you're gonna Make, you're going to make five more, so you have six of these little green things. I'm going to show you how to make one. You'll need some green. You're going to take two bands, and you're going to put them down, and then double loop two green. And then cap it off, creating four loops. So you have a two band, and then a double loop, and then another double loop, and then you cap that off. So loom that up. And you're going to make five more, so you have six of these green things. And we're also going to make a red thing. So loom this up, and I'll show you how to make the red thing. You're going to take three green, and you're going to take three more green. So you should have two bands of three green. Then you're going to take two bands, and, you go, and you're going to go down two times after those three of the reds. Three reds. Then... You're gonna take um, a double looped, and you're gonna do go down with double looped bands. Around four times with a double looped band to do that. And you're gonna cap it off. So you're supposed to have three bands here, three more bands, two bands, two bands, a double looped, a double looped, a double looped, a double looped, and cap that off. You're going to loom that up and you're going to make another one because that's going to be a horn. So you're going to loom that up. You're going to make another horn and we'll see you at the upper jaw. Have your lower jaw to be ready to attach and also still have your two teeth from the lower jaw I showed you how to make. Okay, so you should have made six. So you're going to need those other two. So loom this up and I'll see you at the upper jaw. So do that. I'm going to move on. And you're going to make um, more of those green things for the neck of it because it has some green things before we start 
touching the body, it has some of those green things, so we're going to make more of those later. So get your orange. You're going to take two bands, go down two times on the two middle columns. Then you're going to go out. And then go down. I'll show you in a minute if you can't see. Like that. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to go six times on the two middle columns. So in total you should have one, two, three, nine, nine times down the two middle columns so far. So, so far you should have nine columns on two middle columns. We have three. Go down six more times. Okay, let's do it. Then you go down five times on the sides of it. This side and that side. Go down five times there. On each side. I'm going to take your hook, wrap the black around it, creating four loops. One, two, three, four. Push that one down. You're going to take another black, wrap it around your hook, creating four loops. Push it down. You're going to take two orange and pull one black, only one black onto it. So you should have this. And we're going to place that from here to here. And you're going to do the same thing with the other black. And you're going to place it on the other side. So do that right now. Like that. Um... You're going to double loop the end, double loop those two right there, D double loop the whole thing, let's do that. You're going to take off the bottom double looped bands here, because we have to place the two, so we're going to take off the d double looped band for the bottom. We're just going to place those on the sides for now. And we take off the bands and attach. I'm just placing those nostrils on the side so we can attach the teeth. We're going to have our two teeth on our hook. We're going to lift up this one. And we're going to slide the tooth on, facing it downward. Facing it downward. You can just take the band off and do it that way. It's easier for me, taking the tooth off completely. And you're going to replace the orange thing back. So your tooth should be facing up. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. Your tooth should be facing up. Now just do that to the other one as well. I like to take this band off and do it, but you can do whatever you want. And then we're going to just place that back on with the tooth attached, and we're going to replace the end. So now you should have that, and we're going to replace the double loop band, so we're going to do that right now. Okay, we're going to do the eyebrows, see on the dragon, we're going to do the eyebrows after the dragon's completely off. And I'll show you do that, I know you don't know how to do eyebrows, so I will show you how to do that later. So we're going to do the eyes right now, and we're going to take a white, wrap it around our hook, creating four loops. Then a black. Then a white. Then another white. Then a black, and then another white. So you should have this on your hook. We're all going to put that onto a double looped orange band. So we're going to do that right now. I think I have to mess up, so let's go. And I'll show you where to place it after. So I've decided that the eyes are going to go there on those pegs. Okay, and I separated the eyes and I put it around this peg here. So now what we're going to do in the green. We're going to take our green because we're going to place our little green leafy thingy. And I'll show you how to place them after I place them. Okay, so the green should go there. And then I'm going to think about where to place the horns, okay? So two greens go here. One, 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 one. And we're going to like put them through the band in front of it. And we're going to face it downward. And the same thing to the other side. I pulled them through the bands in front of it. And I pulled them through the other side of the loom, so on the other side they're pulled through. Okay. So now what we're gonna Okay, we're gonna loom up to where these um here, to above the eyes, these pigs above the eyes, so go ahead and do that. Take the lower jaw, face it down, and attach it on all of those pigs, okay? It doesn't matter if 
Yes, it doesn't matter. Take, take the lower jaw, face it down, and attach it to those pigs, all those right there. Attach each of these slip knots to each one of those pigs. I'll do mine fast, so this looks like I'm done. We place the lower jaw into those three pig, four pigs, and we loomed up at one time. Now it's going to loom up the rest of it, and we're going to take it off, and we're going to move on to attaching it all. And we're going to, like, fix this head a little bit, okay? So, that's good. We're going to pull the tongue to the right side, and arrange the teeth. Arrange the teeth and the eyes. We're going to fix them up a little bit. I'm gonna do the eyebrows in just a little bit, okay? So I'll see you at the eyebrows. Okay, so I already did one eyebrow and it turned out kind of nice. So if you want to know how to do this eyebrow, stick around. Okay, so you're gonna take your hook and you're gonna take a green. You're gonna wrap it around your hook, creating four loops, okay? So do that. Take another green, double loop it, and pull that um, four looped thing onto it. Reclaim the end. I'm gonna take an orange and tie slip knot. So you should have this. Take your head, place it over the eye. Go through the inside of the lower jaw. Go up behind the eye. So your hook should be right behind the eye, and it should be right on the bottom of it. Okay? Okay, you're gonna take the slip knot that we have on the green thing that we just did. We're gonna take the slip knot, we're gonna pull it through the head. So do that. Okay, so now we have this band on the inside, upper, upper lower jaw, whatever. On the inside of the mouth, I'm gonna call it. And then we're gonna go through the four loops that I told you to do. We're gonna go through all of those bands, all those four loop bands. We're gonna stick it through another side of the upper jaw. We're going to stick it through the other side, and we're going to pull that slip knot of the eye back up and through the head again. we pull it up and through the head, and we're also going to pull it through the four bands we did. <gasps> Be sure not to lose it, because that's what I'm about to do right now. We're just going to pull it through the slip knot. We're going to pull it tight for the eyebrow to go down like that. So now we have our slip nothing, and we're gonna see where we're gonna put this extra loop because we did the main part of the eyebrow already. So where are we gonna put this loop, you wonder? Well, we're gonna do that right now. We're gonna go through some bands and we're gonna pull it through the side of the head. We're gonna go through these bands on the side and we're gonna pull that slip knot through. So the slip knot should be on the side of the head now. It should be on the side, and our eyebrow should already be on. Then we're going to attach that to one of those green things on this side. I attach the other one to the green thing up here. I attach the other one up there. So we're going to attach this one to another green thing over here. So do that. So now we have our cute, tiny little eyebrows on top of the eyes. Okay, let's move on to the body. Okay, and what we're going to make, you're going to have to go back and make 24 more of these. So you have 25 of these. You're going to take two green, go down one, take a green, d double loop it. Take another green, double loop it, and cap that off and loom it up. And then that's where you're going to go back and make 24. So you have 25 of them. So now it looks like this. Now make 24 more that look like these. So you have 25. I'll loom this up and I'll see you at the body. Now you should have 25 of these of these green things, and you're going to take two orange and go down the two middle columns all the way down with orange. So do that. Okay, so we're going to go out there like that. Then <coughs> we're going to go out again. I'm going to go down six times on these columns. We're going to go around six times on the inner columns, so go ahead and do that. Then on the outer sides, we're going to go down five times. On the sides, we're going to go in like that on each side. Like that, we're going to go in, and then we're going to go in again. So 
down our loom to look like this. And then we're going to just double loop the whole thing, so go ahead and do that. Now your loom should look like this. I'm going to place the green spikes and I'll show you what it looks like after I'm done placing them. This is where the thing should be placed and for here I put one on a double looped band. So this one's on a double loop band facing downward and all the other ones are shown here. Okay, uh, so now we're just going to be attaching the legs, the wings, and the head, and looming it up, and all that jazz. So, let's do that. <laughs> First thing we have to do is we have to place the head upside down on these two pigs at the bottom here. So go ahead and take off the slip knots and place the head um, upside down there. So do that right now. After you place the head, you can loom up one time to where the first little green leaf is. We can attach the wings now. So face them upside down where the spikes are facing toward the head. And we're just going to place them on um, these two pigs right here. These two right there. Um, and I'll show you after I place one and then you can place the other. So let's go. So the first wing has been placed already. Um, now just attach the other wing on the other side and face the claw toward the head. So go ahead and do that. Now both wings should be placed. Um, now for the feet. I'm going to place one foot on each side and the other foot is symmetrical to that foot. So let me attach one side, one foot on each of these and the other one's just the same thing but on the other side. The feet, the first foot is going to go there, and the other foot is going to go there, okay? And so just do the same thing, but on the other side. So attach the same feet on the other side, and loom the whole thing up, tie it off with a slip knot, and I'll show you <coughs> what it looks like with the other feet attached if you want to see that, so I'll show you that. And then just basically loom the whole thing up, and tie off the ends, and I'll see you at the tail. So, let's go. The other feet look like that. So now all there is up to do is just loom the whole thing up, tie it off, and see you up to time. Let's go! Now, Pull all of the green things to the top so they're not on the bottom. Okay, let's move on to the tail. Okay, before we move on to the tail, we have to make a long little red thing and we have to make six small ones. You have to make six small ones. You're supposed to have seven small ones. I'm going to show you how to make one of each. So for the long one, you're going to take two bands. You're going to go down once. Then you're going to go down another time, and another time, so you have three for red, then you're going to go in one double looped, and another double looped, cap that off and make another one of those, one, cap it off making four loops, one, two, three, four, and you're going to loom that up for the big one, now for the small one, I'm just going to loom this up fast. So you should have two um, big ones. Now for the small one, you're going to take a double looped, and you're going to double loop it on your loom. You should have one double loop band like that. Then you're going to take another, and you're going to do the same, double loop it, and you're going to cap that off. One, two, three, four. And you're going to make seven of those, so you go back and make six more of those, and another one of the long ones. So now we're ready for the tail, so I'm just going to loom this up fast. Two orange bands, and you're going to go down the two middle combs all the way down to the end, so go ahead and do that. 
double loop the whole thing except for the two on the bottom. So we're going to place a small one right there. We're going to place another small one right there. And take our long one. We're going to place it right there. And the other one we're going to place on the other side of it. And you're gonna take another small one, place it right underneath, and then you're gonna take another one, place it across from that, and then you're gonna go down one more time. Now you might have one left, so that's good. You will have one left, because what we're gonna do. Gonna do if I can get. <coughs> we're gonna switch the top and we're gonna make it go into one. At the top, I changed it to do that, so that's where we're gonna place our last tiny one. Okay. Let's go on. Okay. Um. We're going to take this and we're going to take our dragon and we're going to place him right side up and we're going to attach the loops, loom the whole thing up, tie the end with a tie the end off with an orange band and I'll see you with the belly. Let's go. See you with the belly. We're going to go down the two middle columns with um, yellow bands all the way down, so do that. Go out on the sides. Go down once. Shoot up this. Then go down six times on the inner sides, these two. On the outer sides, go down five times. Then you're gonna go in on each side. And you wanna be like that. Then you're just gonna Double loop the whole thing, okay? And you're gonna fix the end so the end looks like that. Okay, now you can double loop the whole thing. I'm gonna place some orange on it. I'll show you where I've placed the orange in a minute. And then after I show you where I placed the orange, you can just um, cut the end off and loom the whole thing up. Okay? Cap off the end. This is where all the orange goes, and you're just going to tie the end off with, you're going to tie this one off with an orange slip knot, and this one off with an orange slip knot. So just loom the whole thing up, and I'll see you at attaching the stomach. Let's go. See you at attaching the stomach. Okay, in my other videos, I put the feet through the stomach, so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to open up a hole in the stomach, and we're going to slip the feet through, and it has to be, like, on the side. Like, I'll show you what I mean after I do it. So it should be like this, where there's, like, two columns in the middle or whatever. There just has to be one column on the side, at least, so you can basically just stick them in wherever and have, like, an open space in the middle, okay? So now we're actually going to be detaching it, but that's what we can do instead of attaching it, but I like to do the actual attaching of it as well. So if you watch my other tutorials, you know what we're going to do. We're going to just go through, I'm going to go through an end in the dragon, and we're going to pull through the band that we placed, and we're going to make sure it's facing up here. It's like up like this. Like we're going to pull it through. And we're going to do that to all of the ones that we place. So go ahead and do that. My computer shut down. So I don't know if you saw the rest of 
how I attached the stomach, I just, after I sipped all of them up, I just did what Courtney Nicole did. Took one and put it through the other, took one and put it through the other, and that's all I did. So I'll see you in a sec for the outro. Thanks everyone for watching my adult pepper dragon. Hopefully I'll see my next tutorial. Don't forget to go check out the baby as well. Okay, don't forget to subscribe. Peace. Thank you.